Hey everybody, welcome to the Garden of Enders. No, we're not in our garden. Mm. So today we are going to do a taste test of a fig that we grew. I'm super excited. So let's check this thing out. So we have a couple varieties of figs that we grow um, on the property. This one is the most popular. However, by a lot of fig connoisseurs, it is not a favorite. Um, it is was advised to let it be overripe, so it's very, uh, it's almost gelatinous on the outside and super dark. Uh, it is the brown turkey fig. Um, and so super, super excited. It's not the first one we've harvested, but we learned very quickly that it's better to be overripe. We let the last one get very, very ripe. And so this time I said, let's let this one go a little further. And so that's what we did. And so now we wanted to talk about it and, and the, the complexity of this fig, what it tastes like, uh, and just kind of walk you guys through it. So uh, we're gonna cut into this bad boy. Uh, and show you what it looks like. All right, so we're just gonna cut down the middle. Maybe. Bonjour. No. Okay, sure. Oh, it's cutting. All right, so here is the inside. Oh, wow. And as you can see, it's got quite a bit of what they call fig honey. It's a little hollowed out here in the wow. center. Um, but it's just, um, looks super good. It does look better than the previous figs, uh, that we have, uh, cut. I'm going to give my wife the smaller piece love me for that. Um, but anyways, you can see here that it's got a lot of that honey flavor. Um, so let's give this thing a shot. All right. So I've got mine ready. I'm going to pass my plate here to my lovely wife. And MJ, MJ, do you want to try this? No. You want to take a bite? No, no, no. Okay. So, all right, let's see what this thing tastes like. Cheers. It's good, Mom. It's very good. Would you like a bite? No. Okay. That's okay. Maybe next time. Mm. What do you think? What would you say? Bite this is the one. flavor. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It just reminds me of peach. It, it's very it peachy. Is bite. It's very peachy. Very peachy. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Um, ah. Looks super, ah. super good. Wow, it's so cool. Wow. Very peachy. It's got, the, it's got the little seeds similar to like a dragon fruit, so you're gonna be crunching on little seeds. Not anything that's gonna get stuck in your teeth like a raspberry, but it hurts. Like, well, a, dra like a dragon fruit. Little dragon fruit. Oh, it's okay, man. Well, they're not seeds though, they just pop. They're the pieces of the petal. Yeah, are hurting the boy. But there's little there's little crunchy things in there, but it's fine. It's really good. It finishes kind of with a melon tone, I think. <laughs> Has a melon finish, light a light melon, but not like a cantaloupe melon, like a I don't know. But peaches, I, I think you hit that right on the head. Yeah, um, definite peach. With peach, and and then you can get that that sweet. It's it's not as dark of a honey flavor as what I've heard some people describe some fig varieties. Yeah. Um, but but definitely I know what they mean where you you have that honey texture, the, the flower. It's basically the nectar of the fig that it creates. Um, 
but super good. So glad we let that over ripen. Um, honestly, it probably would have been fine even to go another day. Yeah. Um, but probably not much more than that. Oh my gosh, so <laughs> so so good. So that was the brown turkey fig. Um, very very happy with it. Um, I've got a couple others that we will um, be able to sample next year. Just got them too late in the game this year. Figs are new to us, um, but I'm super excited. Um, but we will uh, we will sample them as we go and, and take you guys along. We want to do kind of more taste testing videos um, of some of the rare things that we grow and, and just some of the things that maybe you guys have never tried before. Like figs, I'm surprised when I talk to people how many people have never had a fig. Mm -hmm. Like dried figs, sure, and then the fig Newton, um, but totally different. I mean, yeah. Very, very different. So. Yeah, so good. And then we've got watermelon taste testing coming up. Yes, <laughs> stick around for that. We're super excited about that. Yeah. Um, we will be doing some watermelon tasting yes. here very shortly. We have a thirty-pound. I was gonna say there may or may not be a thirty-pound watermelon <laughs> in the fridge right now. Just waiting. Not cut. And yes, it takes up the entire center shelf. Yeah. Um, and there's another same size still on the vine. <laughs> and then a bunch of smaller ones. I'd say they're probably they're probably every bit of ten pounds. The smaller ones. Yeah. What are all the varieties? Maybe fifteen. Dixie Queen, Tender Sweet, and Golden Midget. Golden Midget. What so, will we try? We're gonna do kind of a thing of all of them, I think. So, and we will have we'll have family here. So, yeah. um, I think they want to do like a celebrity video. <laughs> what would that be called? Like a the cameo. A cameo. <laughs> so make an appearance. Yes, they will be making an appearance. Hopefully, I don't know. They might be camera shy. Um. Anyways. Yeah, so super good. Um, really good, you guys. As we get into the others, you know, I, I, I can only assume that um, a lot of these uh, gardeners that I watch on YouTube, um, you know, they talk about the complexity of a lot of the figs that they have and like the Italian 258 and the Olympian and um, the Violet de Bordeaux and the Black Madeira and all of these different figs, right? Like, and how great they are. Um, so I can only wait. Like, I mean, if, if this fig is like the worst of the worst, figs are my new favorite. <laughs> um, it was really good. Yeah. It was really good. For being so delicious and for so many people to have <clears throat> never tried a fresh one. I'm sorry. Fig Newtons are not a representation of what a fig tastes like. Not at all. <laughs> no. And a lot of your organic stores, they will carry fresh figs. So yeah. if you have an organic market in your play in your area, like uh, Trader Joe's, oh, um, um, a lot of these places will have. You again, I got to be the right time of year, like July, August, maybe the first part of September. But you can get fresh figs there. So. Um, you know, if you don't ever plan on growing them or you live in an area that um, you can't, maybe you don't have space, um, or maybe it's just not you, like, you know, you, you enjoy fresh stuff and organic things, then, then check those places out because you'll be able to get some. But anyways... You're going to want to grow a fig tree after you try one, trust me. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have, we have four total, two are coming, but we have two. Uh, we haven't sampled the other one yet. It's they're kind of small. I don't know if they're gonna make it, but next year we will definitely have them. So, um, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Um, I, I I think we have a little bit of an announcement to make since they haven't seen me for a while. <laughs> I know that I haven't been posting any recipes or anything like that, and there is a good reason for that. The same thing with the slowing down of our channel, despite us saying we're going to put more videos up. Yes. We had every intention of doing all of the above, <laughs> I want you guys to know. Um, it's just been, um, well... The reality is, is that our garden is not the only thing that's growing. Our family is growing as well. <laughs> yeah, so super excited. Yes, yes, we feel incredibly blessed, but I have unfortunately been very sick for the 
last few weeks, actually more probably about two months now, <laughs> I have been very, very sick. And the kitchen is quite literally the last room in the house that I even want to be in. But I'm finally starting to feel better. I'm at about 65% right now, but every day I'm starting to feel better. Hopefully I'm, I'm past that so I can come back and share more videos with you. You all will uh, get some more recipes. It's not because I've ran out of recipes, because I assure you I have not. <laughs> But um, so I hope to be back really soon with you guys. So. And, and I don't really have an excuse. The <laughs> garden hasn't stopped and, and neither have I. I'm just really bad about grabbing the camera and taking it out. I go out, I get done and I'm like, oh my gosh, I should have filmed that. And so, yeah, uh, she's normally 100% the co-pilot slash uh, producer. Sure. Camera exactly woman. That's fine. Um, so, anyways, <laughs> she normally has got the camera, and I'm going, and you know, on and off. And like she said, she does a lot of recipes, and we've just slacked. Like, we've got a drawer full of peach. I mean, peaches, pears. pears. That still, we, she did half of them, um, yeah. despite everything. But we still got to do the other half that needs to get canned and put up um, before they go bad. So, there's just so many things that it's just. Uh, it's just been hard to keep up with, um, but and the reality is this is what we wanted. We're super excited about it, yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it has been a little bit of a struggle with me, really just out of commission, but uh, I'm starting to feel back to my normal self. We're going to get back to your regularly scheduled programming, and uh, we're really excited, so we just wanted to share our good news. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> Not an excuse, but a reality. So thank yeah. you guys so much. Um, if you um, have been along with us through this journey, thank you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please, please, please hit that um, hit that subscribe button. Uh, like those videos so we know that you guys love them and we can continue to put them up. And uh, if you're feeling really froggy, hit that bell. You'll get a chance to know when we do put the new videos up. Um, so. So it is late at night and it is definitely time to go. I'm even thinking about going out and planting a tree. I know it's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, I already dug the hole, but that's another story. So thank you guys so much. See you next time. Until then, take care. Bye.